Hi, this is Presh Talaker. In this video, I'm going to illustrate an amazing fact from geometry known as Pascal's Theorem or the Hexagrammum Mysticum. We'll get right to the examples. Uh, we'll start out by drawing two different lines and on each line we'll pick three points A, B, C and on the other line A prime, B prime, and C prime. We're going to connect some of these points together to get our result. So we'll start out by connecting A with B prime and correspondingly B with A prime. You'll notice that these two lines have a point of intersection and we'll mark that with a green dot. We're going to draw two more pairs of lines so we'll draw A C prime and correspondingly C A prime and you'll notice that these two lines also have a point of intersection. We'll mark that with the green dot. Finally, we'll draw B, C prime and C, B prime. And once again, these two lines have a point of intersection, which we'll mark with the green dot. So here's the result. Here's Pascal's theorem. It's that these three points, these three green dots, will always lie on a line they will always be on the same line. And to illustrate this, uh, it will even be true, even if I try and squish this figure up, you'll see that these three points are always on a line. And I'll try and deform it again. These three points remain on a line. And we'll return back. These three points are always on the same line. And this will be true no matter where you pick the points for the two different lines. The story gets even more interesting that we can do this with other shapes. So we'll start out with the circle and we'll pick six different points and we'll connect exactly the same pairs of lines that we did before. So we end up with a set of three points and you'll very easily see that these are on the same line. And while I started out with the circle this will be true even if we have an ellipse and no matter what the shape of the ellipse is, these three points will always be on a line. Let's get more daring. Let's start out that we'll have an ellipse, but this time we're not going to put ABC all next to each other. We'll mix it up. So now when we connect the lines, it looks like we don't have any intersections we just have a hexagon which is inside of an ellipse. So what we need to do is we actually need to extend our lines beyond the shape. So we'll extend a b prime and b a prime until they do intersect at a point. And we'll continue so that we keep extending the opposite pairs of lines until they intersect. And now we have three points which we've denoted with green dots and lo and behold these actually are on the same line and this again will be true pretty much however you draw the shape and we'll try and deform it you'll see that this is always these three points are always on the same line let's get a little creative we'll take a parabola we'll draw six different points and we'll connect the same lines that we've been connecting. Once again, we found that the three points of intersection are going to be on the same line. If you really want to be daring, our final example will be with the uh, hyperbola. We'll pick six different points and connect the uh, relevant pairs of lines. And almost like magic, these three, three green dots are on the same line. The reason this happens, it's known as Pascal's theorem, which is from any six points on a conic section, when you draw out the lines a b prime, b prime a, a c prime, c prime a, and b c prime, c prime b, as long as those, you know, none of those pairs of lines are parallel, as long as they're non-parallel pairs of lines, the points of intersections of those lines, 
those three points will be collinear. And so that's why it always worked when we had a hyperbola, parabola, ellipse, or a circle. And to go back to the first example, we started out with two pairs of lines. The reason that works is Pappus's theorem. I provided some links in the description, which uh, will get you to more details of the math and proof of why it works. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel. You can catch me on my blog, Buying Your Decisions, on Twitter at Presh Talwalker, or again my ebooks and Amazon.